हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ लिस्ट काउंट वर्सेज रेजोल्यूशन इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी ए वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टूडे बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल आर कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन लिस्ट काउंट एंड द रेजोल्यूशन ऑल द डिस्कशंस रिलेटेड टू लिस्ट काउंट एंड रेजोल्यूशन वुड बी प्रजेंटेड इन दिस वीडियो so let us start now to understand the term list count it is better to learn first what is the measurement according to measurement system analysis msa reference manual edition number 4 the measurement is defined as the assignment of numbers or the values to material things to represent the relations among them with respect to particular properties assignment of the numbers means like 1 2 3 are the values assigning to the materials for example there are three any of the physical parts so you can say there are three parts these are the three numbers assigned to the quantity of the materials available or it could be possible in one component there are n number of circles holes and if we measure the number of holes and assign the values it means these values are assigned to the physical features on the component okay then the process of assigning the numbers is defined as the measurement process and while measuring it is called a process and that process of assigning the numbers is called measurement process and the value assigned is defined as the measurement value here is one example given the above example is of a physical part called cylinder having dimensions of height denoted by letter h and diameter denoted by symbol phi a instrument like vernier caliper can measure and assign the measured values of the cylinder so the diameter and height both can be measured with a measuring instrument vernier caliper and those values diameter height assigned to the physical entity or the feature called here is a cylinder if we understand now what is the measurement means then it is important to find on the instrument scale that what is minimum size we can measure therefore list count the term is defined as list count of an measuring instrument is the list or the smallest value it can measure or detect in the given example the ruler scale here called instrument shown in the figure can measure smallest value as 1 mm therefore we can say that list count of scale is 1 mm discrimination or resolution smallest input that results in a usual output signal of measurement this is the simplest definition of a discrimination smallest input for example let us think a pressure gauge when there is a smallest input of the pressure given to the dial gauge pressure gauge it result in a usable output signal of the measurement and the moment of the indicator on the dial it get
converted so what is the smallest input is called as a resolution or discrimination is the amount of change from a reference value that an instrument can detect and faithfully indicate this is also referred to as readability or resolution in the figure the measure of this ability is typically the value of the smallest graduation on the scale of the instrument as we said in the pressure gauge what is the minimum value is indicated that smallest value graduation is called the resolution if the instrument has got coarser graduations then half of the graduation value can be taken as for the calculations in the uncertainty rule 10 to 1 on this slide let us find what is the significance of the discrimination is or what is the significance of the resolution is the instrument should have a discrimination or resolution that allows at least 1/10 of the expected process variation of the characteristics to be read directly here the process variation is the limit of the dimensional variation achieved in the process of the manufacturing for example if the characteristics variation is 0.001 this could be the process variation of length for example then the equipment should be able to read a change of 0.0001 exactly 1/10 of the process variation a general rule of thumb in the measuring instrument discrimination ought to be at least One tenth of the range to be measured. This is a rule of thumb. Traditionally, this range has been taken to be the product specifications. Before this version of the MSA, it was taken one tenth is the value for suitability of the product specifications. In simplest. product specifications are the tolerances lower tolerance limit and upper tolerance limit is called the range of the product specification recently the 10 to 1 rule is being interpreted to mean that measuring equipment is able to discriminate at least 1/10 of the process variation so what is change here instead of the product specifications that is tolerances instead of the tolerances the process variations the process tolerances or the process limits is the consideration this is consistent with the philosophy of continual improvement that is the process focus is a customer designated target so instead of just taking the tolerance value of a product it is always suggested is to take the process variation which is the prime focus of any of the manufacturer a real practical case thank you very much friend this is the first part of list count and the resolution in the next part we are going to look at the real use of the resolution or discrimination in the calculation of the measurement uncertainty
by that time take care thanks a lot